Let's draw our cart paths on holes one and two. All right, back in Inkscape here, um, I just showed you how to create uh, strokes and converting strokes to path. So that should be remembered now if you've got, you know, if you're remembering your formatting and you had that set up in your preferences like we did early on. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a tad here and let's start drawing our cart path like right in here. So this is going to be a large parking lot, which we will do a separate way if we're going to draw it at all. Um, that's more of an advanced topic. Um, let's just draw it. Let's just start it right here. And then we're going to draw it through here and all the way down through our T boxes on two and down over that bridge and on the, and onto that area. But let's stay zoomed in. So make sure we're on hole 98. OK, make sure that we're on our pen tool and let's just start clicking. And we want to stay right in the middle here. And I'm going to be very deliberate. I'm not clicking and dragging. I'm clicking, then moving the mouse. All right. Now, it's hard for me to see where this cart path is. I can kind of see it through the shadows and trees. There might be a bridge right there. And I'm pretty sure there is over that little creek bed. We can address that later, though. This is a simple tutorial to get you guys started. We'll talk about bridges and blender. Again, I'm just tracing this through. I can't see it, but I, I know it's there. And again, I'm using my middle mouse button under my scroll wheel. If I click that and be very deliberate when I move, what I don't want to actually do is accidentally left click. Because when I left click, I want to make sure that I'm holding my mouse still. I do not want to click and drag. Now this is going to get a little tricky because it really disappears through here. I do know that it goes all the way around. Again, I've been here before. If you, uh, That's why I would recommend always doing a course that you're familiar with. That way you don't have to guess on stuff like this. Not a big deal if you do have to guess. You can fix it. Now, so this is the beginning of the bridge here. I'm going to click one last time. And now I'm going to right click to finish. Because if you have a bridge, what we're going to do is we're going to create this bridge later on in Blender. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this cart path here and then it will be connected by the bridge. All right. So I have one cart path done. And now that it's highlighted, let me go back here. And you see I got this material called concrete. Ooh, I just changed that to concrete. What happened? Ah, so that must be my fill. OK, so what did I do? Well, I still have this as a stroke. I haven't converted it to path yet. So I'm going to control Z, which removes that. And if you recall, this is still a stroke. So what I'm going to do is with it highlighted. OK, I have it highlighted. I'm going to go up here to path. I'm going to do stroke to path. And now this is a path it is no longer a stroke so if i do a fill boom okay it is now concrete so you just have to make sure that when you do that fill you have to convert that to a path first so there's that one extra step when we do cart pass okay now let's go and do this area because we still have a little bit of area to do here and i'm going to do something special that's going to help us illustrate something a little bit later on So just like before, we're going to make sure we're still on hole 98. We're going to have our pen tool turned on, and we are going to start clicking and tracing this out. And this time, though, I'm going to draw this. This isn't the way the course goes, but I'm going to draw this into a loop. And you can see I have my fill and I have my stroke. All right, so let's go into here. Let's get rid of my fill so we can just look at the stroke here. So I've got my stroke. I got my stroke, so it's two and a half. OK, um, let me go into my select tool. Make sure I've got my stroke selected and we're going to do our path stroke to path, right? 
So when we go back in there, now this is a path and we can fill it with concrete. All right. Now what we have here is what we call a loop, obviously. All right, this is obviously a loop. Not a problem in Inkscape, but in Blender, this causes an issue and there's a specific fix for it. So that's why I did this, so that when we go into Blender, I can show you what a cart path loop looks like and how to fix it. I know the course isn't this way, but I just wanna make sure that if you run into this situation in your course where you're, and most likely you are, because at some point, your, your cart path, so you can see there's a huge one here. Like this might be, this cart path goes down here, all the way around, up. There's, there's a loop, you know, there's a loop here, a big one. There's a loop up here, a big one. And this is a small loop, but you can get the idea. There's gonna be lots of loops and you need to know how to fix those. One way is you can do it in Blender. Another way is you can just not draw loops. You can, if this was a real cart path, I could have left maybe like just stopped here and then restarted here. And if you do that in a strategic area, like behind these trees, no one's gonna know it's there. OK, um, so that's one way to tackle it. The other way is to do it in Blender. But I just wanted to show you guys this so that when it comes up in Blender, you'll know how to take care of it. OK, but we did draw our cart pass now. They're on hole 98. And um, I think we're ready for the next step, which is doing our hole 99 and deep rough.